Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Teach your dragon to follow instructions. Written by Steve Herman. Hello, my name is Drew, and I have a little secret. You probably don't know, but can you guess? What is it? Are you ready to give up or have you guessed it yet? Okay, here it is. I have a dragon for a pet! His name is Diggory Doo, and he's thoughtful and he's kind. But it was quite a challenge training Diggory Doo to mind. When Diggory Doo was younger, he would do things his own way, and he hardly ever listened to what others had to say. Once Diggory Doo decided he would like to learn to bake, Mother shared her recipe for how to make a cake. Mother said, Before you start, be sure to wash your hands, then gather your ingredients and use the proper pans. When Diggory's cake was finished, it looked good, without a doubt. But when I took a bite of it, I had to spit it out. I said, This cake is awful. He replied, It's not my fault. When I ran out of sugar, I had to substitute salt. One day, we had to stay inside when it began to rain. I read a book, and Diggory chose to build a model plane. The kit had lots of pieces and a special kind of glue, and there was an instruction book to tell you what to do. Though he saw there were instructions, Diggory didn't read them. He said, I know just what to do. I don't think I'll need them. When Diggory Doo had finished, I saw he wore a frown. He cried, This plane is not quite right. The wings are upside down. Diggory goes to school with me, but I might need to mention, though he was always there, he didn't always pay attention. Miss Matthews teaches math. She shows us what to do whenever we have homework, and she's very patient too. But Diggory Doo complained that her way takes too long, so he did the homework his way and got every problem wrong. Miss Matthew sighed with disappointment but tried hard not to scold. Diggory, next time try to do it the way that you've been told. Diggory Doo loves baseball, and it's always been his dream to learn to play it well and to try out for a team. We sent him off to baseball camp so he could learn the game. He was sure he would be famous and the world would know his name. Although he looked quite spiffy in the uniform we bought, Diggory never listened to the lessons he was taught. The coach told him what to do, but Diggory never heard. Instead of running towards first base, Diggory ran to third. Every time we tried to help Diggory with a task, he would snap, I've got this! If I need your help, I'll ask! He'd not follow the instructions or listen to advice. And as you now can see, Diggory often paid the price. See? After many failed attempts, Diggory Doo began to cry. I always make a mess, he wailed. I simply don't know why. Diggory Doo, I told him, there's no need to get uptight. Just follow the instructions and things will be alright. Think about the times you've failed. I think that you will find that your problems all began when you chose to close your mind and you refused to listen to the folks who gave advice 
Now, do you understand why your plans don't turn out nice? You've had the power within you to be successful all along. If you'd done as you were told, things might not have turned out wrong. You're right. I've been hard-headed. Diggory sadly sighed. If I'd followed the instructions, I could have done the things I tried. So Diggory turned himself around and changed that very day. He said, I'm going to listen to what others have to say. And I'll follow the instructions for the things I want to do. He finally learned his lesson. Three cheers for Diggory Do. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!